<sighs> so I just laid down here at Bascom Hill. It's such a nice day out. One of the last probably really nice days of fall. So I decided to come out here. And I sit down and I'm right next to a tree that produces acorns. So if you didn't know, I've been baking a lot of bread lately. <laughs> and I want to include these acorns in my next loaf. We are going to collect some acorns and put it in the bread. Locally sourced. We're taking this whole foraging thing to a new level because we're eating it, okay? And I'm going to take you through the process. Now it's time to collect. Oh, they're just everywhere. I'm going to have a bunch. Squirrels in its natural habitat eating an acorn. Literally only collected for like two minutes in this cell. Like I've got all these so far, so I'm probably good. I feel like all the squirrels are gonna hate me because I'm taking all their food, but trust me, there's a bunch to go around. I'm not taking any squirrels' food, don't worry. All right, I think it's time to go home. We're gonna go walk home, and we're gonna make some acorn bread. process these bad boys so what are you gonna need you are going to first need your acorns and then another bucket to put the good acorns to open the acorns you are gonna need a hammer and then just a cutting board so it doesn't make a big mess so what you're gonna do is get your acorn take your hammer two good pounds then you're gonna peel away the shell and you'll have your meat. And then the shell, shell's garbage, the meat will just go in there. And now I'm just going to chop them up into smaller pieces than what they already are. Cause these are going into a bread. So don't want them too big. Yeah, and so you can taste how much tansid is in them by just tasting them. And so if it's bitter, you know there's a lot of tans in and you need to leach them. That was especially bitter. So I'm gonna leach these really good. And I'm not gonna be able to use all my acorns. I guess the squirrels in my backyard are having a buffet. All right, now it is going back into the water to leach out all of that bitterness and tansid. All right, now we need to make the bread. This isn't a bread video, but we need to know how to make it. To activate the yeast, we need warm water. Can't be hot, too hot, otherwise it will kill the yeast. The warm water, sugar, and then the yeast, and we're gonna combine that. All right, sweet. Now we got our lukewarm, warm water for our yeast. We're gonna add in our yeast. If you want your bread to rise quick, then add a lot of yeast. If you don't want it to rise quick, then add less, but you're just gonna have to wait longer. I'm putting this back in the fridge because they are alive and they stay good if you keep them cold. Now, what do all living things need to do? They need to eat. We are going to give them some sugar. And then you stir, baby. All right, you can kind of see that film that means that the yeast is active and we can add flour and it will rise. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of flour into the mixture. This is bread flour. I'm going to mix it up slowly. A little bit of flour, stir, a little bit of flour, stir. 
All right, Chef, I'm making acorn bread. Are you excited to try it? Yes, I'm very excited to try the acorn bread. Do you trust me? I trust you more than anybody making acorn bread, Al. All right, you heard it here first. So after getting rid of all the tannin, I am now going to pour the prepared acorn right into the dough that I've already prepared. All right, just gonna mix them in. Once your dough's like this, it is ready to be put into whatever baking tray you are gonna bake it in. Now it's time for this baby to rise. So it has now risen as much as I want it to. And I am gonna pop this in to the oven. It is now going into the oven. Just took it out of the oven. Now it's time to let it cool. All right, so I've tried a few pieces myself just to make sure no one else will get sick. And we're gonna try some on camera. All right, so we just buttered up our toast, our acorn toast. Um, you think, Ryan, are you excited for this? I'm excited, it looks good. All right, cheers. Can really taste the acorn. Can you really? Yeah. What do you think? Nine two. So you eat it again. Oh, okay. nine point two. I might be collecting some more acorns on Basco. Acorn is food. The bread was good, but you couldn't really taste the acorn. I think the moral of this little experiment is just to think about the things that surround you. They could possibly be sources of food or entertainment. So that's what I wanted to get out of it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for other things that I do. Well, now the squirrels get their buffets.